Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Geek Vape Frenzy. This is a pod system. It takes two different coils. Or actually, I think there might be different coils, uh, but the ones that come with it are 0.7 and 1.2 ohm. And this does have a temperature control feature as well. It automatically recognizes the stainless steel 316 coil and kicks it into temp control mode. You can adjust the voltage outputs and you can adjust the temperatures also. The pods take two milliliters of juice and in, on the Geek Vape site just now, I think it's about $35, $36. Now the packaging I have here, this is a reviewer's sample. So God knows how it's going to turn up with you when it arrives on your doorstep, but this is what I have here. Now this is what was inside mine, so you're going to get a, a USB charger, we've just got a USB and you can see we've got a USB slot on the front here. I think this is about one amp charging this, I, I can't actually see the details on the website, but it didn't take too long to charge this up. It is a 950 milliamp hour battery inside this, uh, but uh, you do get two coils. Now the, the thing about this is that you get two coils and basically depending which coil you put in this device depends on how it's going to operate. There is a 0.7 ohm mesh cancel coil and that means that you're going to be operating in like a voltage mode. You also get a stainless steel, I think it's a 1.2 ohm stainless steel coil. Now when you put that coil inside your little tank here, as soon as you put it in the device it automatically switches it over into a temperature control mode. Once again, you can change the, not the voltage as such, but you can, you know, you can change the temperature that you're putting out. And this basically means that, you know, you're not going to burn the coil out if the, you know, the juice runs down to the very bare minimum. The temperature control cuts in and it stops the coil burning out. So once again, you've got a 1.2 ohm coil, which is going to be for temperature control. And there's a 0 0.7 ohm mesh coil. Now this is made from, you know, you've got the usual zinc alloy going on here. We have little resin panels on here and we have our usual little pod. Now this is held on by magnets. Uh, now, yeah, I, it comes out quite easily, but you know, for me, I've not found it to be a major inconvenience. I mean, this is the one that I've been using non-stop and uh, I've not had, you know, maybe if you put it in a shirt pocket and you try pulling it out by the drip tip, then yes, it, it possibly will, you know, give you a little bit of grief, but you get used to grabbing it like this and it doesn't doesn't really bother me at all, the fact that, the, you know, the pod comes out as easy as it does. I mean, it's not going to fall out, you know, I'm shaking it about there and, and it's not going anywhere, so yeah. I think that's enough in that one. Now we have a little indicator light here and we have a firing button as well. And that's all you're going to see apart from some vent holes down here. That's all that's going on. Pulling the tank off, we've got a two milliliter capacity going on here. And when it comes from brand new, it'll have this little pull tab on it. And that's just so that you don't fire this by mistake before you've had a chance to put e-liquid in it. To fill this, you just pull this bit open here. That pulls up like there. And you get, you know, you can get your nozzle in there. Now I've been using one of these. I had to nip down to my local store and pick up some 50-50 e-liquid because the 60-40 and the 70-30 that I was using just would not work in these things at all. 50-50 was, yeah, that's, that's the best I could get in this. So that's 50-50 or go heavier on the PG, not on the VG. You will struggle. Those wee nozzles fit in there, no problem at all. I will say it's a smoke tank. I hate smoke tanks, I really do. They're such a pain to see the fill level on them. But yeah, there we go. Uh, the drip tip, uh, I can't pull that off. It's, it's quite a narrow bore on there. And I, I do get a mouth to lung or a very loose mouth to lung with this device. You can see here that uh, down the bottom, we do have adjustable airflow and it only turns so far. And I'll cover that more at the end of the draw. Uh, but you know, you're just going to unscrew this, just give it a little twist that only goes so far, it pulls out. You can then unscrew your coil from here and you can change them over. Uh, once again, the, these coils have been out, I think it's the, the flint coils, if I remember correctly. Uh, these have been out for a wee while and I've not really had any issues, but I'll talk about that more at the end. Close that off. 
and then I can adjust the airflow. Make sure you prime this. You know, you want to get some e-liquid in there, go away, leave it for a good 10, 15 minutes. Actually, you know, sook, sook through here without actually putting this on the mod and get some liquid into that cotton and make sure you prime it. So on the one that I've been using, I've switched this off just now. And if I give this five clicks here, one, two, three, four, five, you can see we get a little LED coming on there just now. Push the fire button and this is green just now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the fire button three times now. One, two, three. And this is taking me back to, this is actually the white light. Now what you get with the white, if you're in temp, you can be in temp control or you can be in voltage mode. So when you're white, it's going to be 2.5 volts or it's going to be 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Another three clicks, one, two, three. We're on the blue and that is 2.7 volts or 440 degrees Fahrenheit. Give it another three clicks. And that takes us to the green and that is 2.9 volts and 460 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to check the battery level, just give the button a couple of clicks like that and the light will flash away. Uh, when you're charging this, um, you know, leave it in there. When the green light comes on and it stays solid, that means that the light, that means that the battery is fully charged. If you want a size comparison on this thing, I will say I've got, where is it? I've got something else here. I've not got a pod with me just now, but just to give you an idea, you can see here that the, the Lost Vape Orion, it is very, very similar in size. So I should put that around that way. But yes, it's, in fact, it's almost identical. There is a, you know, a firing cutoff in this. You've got a 10 second cutoff. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that, that's about all I've got for you on this. And uh, we'll go back up top and we'll talk about how it vapes and all that other good stuff. First things first, you will have to uh, accept my apologies on this one, but my head, my sinuses are just, ah, uh, and I'm, I'm just got such a head cold going on just now. Uh, I've had this for 10 days, but uh, I, I don't feel that great today, but uh, we shall, I, I will give you my honest opinions. There are lots of other reviews out on this one. Uh, don't just take my word for it. Go and check other reviews. It's not bad, this. It really isn't bad. In fact, it's very good. Um, uh, uh, cons... Uh, cons for me are, I, I wish the, I can't see, if I if I hold the this up here, I can't actually see the fill level, I can't actually see how full the tank is. If I hold it up to the window, it, it's crystal clear, I can see how much juice is in it. it it's got a smoked tank on it, it's not the worst I've seen, uh, but I, I'm just not a fan of them. I like to be able to easily see how much juice is in a tank. And yes, it's two milliliter capacity. For some people, the this this whole thing here, you know, I can that's not going anywhere. I think, I mean, I think the magnets hold on fine. Yes, if it's in a shirt pocket and you go to pull it out, there's a chance that yeah, th this will just come out by itself. But um, it's a small niggle. It's not something that bothers me at all, and it's not something that has given me any hassles. The fill system, uh, you know, take this out, pop this open. Um, fill it like that you know hold you want to hold the, the you know this bit up the top and fill like that and kind of take it slowly once you get to the top if you don't you'll end up with juice coming out the other hole um you really do need a quite not a overly thin nozzle on your bottle but uh, i think you might struggle with drippers yeah you know, yeah pipettes and things like that it's working it's working but it's once again it's a small niggle the coils um for me, this is a this is a 50/50 or heavy on the PG. If you're vaping a juice that is heavy on VG, I'm talking 60/40, 70/30. It's not going to work. Uh, I, I mean, it's just not going to work in my opinion. I, none of my juices have worked. I had to go out and buy some more 50/50 uh, just to get something to wick well in this. I've not had any wicking issues at all since I've gone the 50/50, but. Uh, just be aware, um, in, in my humble experience, heavy VG just doesn't work in this. The temp control coils, uh, they work. I mean, the thing about temperature limiting and whatnot, yes, you can adjust the the, the temperature of the coil, you know, the, how warm it's going to get, but even at its warmest setting, I vape this bone dry 
and it cut back, it throttled back, and it did not burn my coil. And for me, that's that's a thumbs up. I mean, that's what, for me, temperature limiting is supposed to do. It just stops you burning out your coil, and it worked. The mesh coil, um, I might go against the grain here, but I'm going to say the mesh coil and the, you know, the, uh, the stainless steel coil, I didn't notice a great deal of difference in flavour performance and I didn't notice a great deal of difference in vapour production. Um, at different voltages and different temperatures, for me, they performed much the same. I would just, you know, go with what one you prefer. Do you want the protection of the, the, the coil not burning out or do you, if you're not bothered about it, it's entirely up to you. These are the, the Geek Vape Flint coils. They are readily available, so there's no issues on that front. But as soon as you pop on the stainless steel coil, it recognizes it and it automatically puts it into temp control mode. The draw on this right now, I'm fully open and some people might call that a really restricted direct lung. I mean, very restricted or a very loose mouth to lung. For me, uh, it's, a it's a really restricted direct lung for me. I mean, I can direct lung on this. Uh, and you can get some clouds as well. Uh, however, I can turn this down and I do have this on the, let me just click that. That's me, I'm on the, the lowest voltage output now. And we're just, here we go, I've got the airflow tightened right down. That's mouth to lung. It, 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 I'll just cut to the chase. I think this is a very good pod system. I like this one. I like the flavour from it and I like the draw. I like the fact that the air is coming through the coil from underneath. Uh, that is a big thumbs up for me. Uh, it's not leaked on me, it's not broken down and uh, it fits in a shirt pocket nice and tidy. And the battery life is, well, it's 950 milliamp hour. Uh, if you're vaping the 1.2 ohm coil, yeah, that'll do you nicely. But it, yeah, I, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I'm not a pod system kind of guy. I, I don't use them regularly. Um, but this is a good one. Thank you to GeekVate for sending this on. And as always, thank you to you guys for watching. I, I'm sorry for my uh, my bunged up nose and uh, my, my less than stellar appearance. Normal. Uh, but uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.